Yevgeny Semenenko will play the role of a prince in Plushenko's I Show the Little Mermaid. Alexandra Trusova, Yevgeny Plushenko and Alexander Plushenko will also perform in the show. The show will take place from December 29 to January 4 at the VTB Arena in Moscow. Previously, the role of the prince in this show was performed by Mark Kondratyuk. Olympic champion figure skater Roman Kostomarov told how he fell ill and was hospitalized in January this year. The athlete spent 175 days in a medical facility and survived a limb amputation. Let's go back a little bit, in the days before New Year's Eve. Oksana, my wife, got sick. On New Year's Eve she had a temperature of 39.5. She realized that with such a fever it would be hard for her to perform on the first third and started taking antibiotics, I was fine. With time Oksana was getting better, but since I ride with her, constant close contact. It is likely that I got infected somewhere, picked up a virus. My shoulder was hurting, an old injury was aggravated. In the course of our program the shoulder was touched, and the pain increased. I had to take painkiller shots periodically after the new year. Plus I started to get a little cough. I never measured my temperature, a cough would go away in 3 to 4 days, it was always like that for me. The doctor was at the rink, I only came in for painkillers, my shoulder hurt. Everything seems fine. Other than the cough, there were no symptoms. On the 8th, when we finished all the performances, I say to Oksana, I'll go and get together with the guys. With my friend Ivan Skobrov we regularly went to the bathhouse, bathed in the ice hole, jumped into the font. Not that we bathed like walruses, we warmed up, bathed, it was all for health. It's quite possible that the accumulation of my illness and cramming it with painkillers weakened my immune system. Your body is not going to tell you, your immune system is weakened, don't go to the bathhouse, don't jump in the ice hole. I go to the baths 100 times a year, it's normal for an athlete. I had a steam, went in the ice hole, had a steam, went in the ice hole. Called a cab, went home. Probably on my last dive my immune system had already weakened somehow. When I got in the cab and drove home, I started coughing nonstop. The coughing was like a pipe cough, it must have been some kind of lung inflammation. I couldn't cough, for 45 minutes I drove home and coughed and coughed and coughed and coughed and coughed and coughed. At home it went on for hours. My side started hurting, I felt like my muscles were already cramping up, I couldn't breathe. Something suspicious, I've never had this kind of pain before. We decided to call an ambulance. I thought maybe they would take a look, give me an four and that would be the end of it. They did a covid swab, listened to me, everything was normal. But they told me that I had to go to the hospital to have a checkup, which could not be done at home. I said, let's go. I remember the ward, where there were many people, all different, someone broken, someone coughing. Twice I got up, went to the toilet, then I do not remember anything, said Kostomarov on the air of the show Secret to a Million. Also Roman Kostomarov told what gives him the strength to live after he lost his feet and hands after a serious illness. What saves first of all, it's loved ones, children, for whom to live. If there's no one around, you don't want to live, left in such a state. Especially if you don't have the ability to walk on prostheses, the desire to do it. It absolutely changes your condition, if there is a desire and there is a possibility, the current technologies allow. I rode in a wheelchair and realized I can't spin the wheels myself. I can't. My legs are gone, I've lost everything I need to live virtually. It absolutely changes your head, you have to work hard for it, you have to train for it, because the hospital, the coma is completely knocked out. You can get bedsores that hurt for a long time because you're immobilized lying down. You lose a lot of weight, you can't lift your head off the pillow, you can't lift your arm, you can't lift your stumpy leg. But because of the desire to go, because of the fact that you know, there are kids waiting for you at home, I don't want to be seen by kids in a wheelchair. That's what I said right away, I will go home only on prostheses, 
because I don't want the kids to see that a disabled person has arrived. Yes, I am disabled, but I came home on my feet, even if through pain, and now through pain when I got permanent prostheses. When you walk, you feel human. You stand up to your full height and you're pretty much the same as you were. There's a sense of being a normal person. People who have the same problems as me should believe that, Kostomarov said in the program Secret to a Million. Inberg believes that Kostornaya and Kanitsa can take bronze at the Russian Championships. Aliona Kostornaya and Georgi Kanitsa have been competing as a pair since the beginning of the year. On September 16-17, they presented programs at the Control Rentals in Moscow. In terms of competition, of course, they can qualify for prizes, the only question is, at which tournaments? At the Russian Championships, of course, it will be more difficult for them so far, because Alexandra Boakova and Dmitry Kozlovsky, as well as Anastasia Mishina and Alexander Galiamov are the ironclad first numbers of the national team, if they perform and are in shape. There are also enough contenders for third place, both in St. Petersburg, Moscow and Perm there are couples who have been skating for a long time, who make complex content, who are more rolled and have more complex support entries, who may have outliers in a serious plus zone, so we will have to try very hard to take bronze at the national championships. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible, third place at the Russian championships with their pace of development and progress, which Kostornaya and Kanitsa have had now, can happen. But it's very hard to keep this pace of progress, because to learn how to do basic elements of pairs figure skating is one job, and to make them incredibly complex, beautiful, on the move, to make all kinds of entries and exits at speed is another job, it requires much more effort. They are well done for moving forward at a great pace, I wish them to keep it up to fight for high places, said the bronze medalist of the 2019 World Cup in pairs skating Alexander Inbert. The Russian Championships will be held in Chelyabinsk from December 20 to 24.